So. Iron Kilt. It's going to take place on Eurevka. There's going to be a stranded squad of British paratroopers or some sort of British squad. Maybe multiple. They're going to be here. The idea is the Brits are going to insert from the south. Are going to move south and north in a mechanized fashion. I believe they have bulldogs. Potentially warriors. To move south and north. They're going to get these guys and move them down to the airport. And they're going to hold a fob down here for extraction. That's the general just the general rescue. They're going to move from their main north and then back down south to the airport here on Yurevka. Meanwhile, Russian forces are starting pretty close, starting within a click of the uh, British forces left over here. Russians are looking to seek and destroy the stranded squad. Failing that... They will seek and destroy the um, the fallback location, the exfil location for British forces. So it's a, a slight twist on attack, defend. It's more like move, defend, and then the other, <laughs> I guess the Russian side would be attack, attack. So it's a little bit different than your standard operation. Welcome to tonight's operation. Tonight, in the first round, will be the British. Um, Intel says we have um, British infantry um, trapped inside the village at Northeast Petrivka, and our platoon, our job is to rescue them. So on the map, you can see Squad 3 and Squad 4 trapped inside the town. They, uh, the armored vehicle will need to be, we need to approach them in order extract them once we have extracted them we will be going back south so here's how we're gonna stand by um this is the reason why i don't get on command comms until after the brief is done um sorry so we will so the rescue mission there will be three phases first phase will be dismounting with three bulldog and the warriors um, basically, all the infantry is here at Lima, around approximately Lima 14. Um, Intel says Russian could be anywhere. So once we dismount, we'll keep on heading north. Uh, so that's phase one. Phase two will be heading north to secure the hill at Lima 11, 6, where the infantry sort of yellow marker is. Once we have secured that area and also the intersection over there, will begin phase three. So phase three, we have two options depending where the enemy contacts are. We'll either go full scent to the north uh, with my eastern green arrow from south to north and head straight to town. The other options will be to split two bulldog or even three bulldog to the uh, west side and go along the western road hit this intersection and head north basically north um northeast from there do you see my do you guys see my green arrow yes no look at it um i'll then see to... my my stuff i can mark this uh, yeah 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 so it's similar to the red arrows something like that and then the phase three key key point is to you know secure the compound around the town before the vehicle push in so we don't get um you know sniped by like a hat or something those are the key points that needs to be secure and some also here as well So that's basically the plan. We would not decide which way to go before we secure Lima 11 6. Um, Intel says enemy will have some um, armor vehicle as well. Um, any question? Uh, are we going to extract to the airport area?
Yes, once we get the stranded squad out of there. So we need to grab the stranded squad inside these bulldogs and get them safely to the airport. Do we have to pick up everyone or can we, is it like if they, you know, die or whatever? At I least get... eight. At least eight. At least eight? How many people do the vehicles fit? Eight, I think. Yeah, Mark. eight plus gonna drive. For the, yeah, for the for the big one. So how 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 are we gonna get all of them? Are some people gonna walk? Um, we have two squad there. That's why we have four vehicles. So two full dogs should be enough to pick up everybody. Oh, okay, okay. Extract point. Extract location is the airport. Correct. When we are Any other to... question? Yep, go ahead. Uh, when we are allowed to exfil? Um, once we they need to dig up. down the radio, or not that I know of. They do not what need to dig down we... the radio. What happens if we take contact in route to picking those guys up? What do we do then? Do we Should push through it, dump. or do we stop and engage them? Depending the size of the element. I mean, if you Copy. got two heads in front of you, I do not think it would be wise to push for it. Depends. It all depends. But generally, just shoot them. Any other questions? Pushed contact. Makes sense. We Go have it. only one wife, right? We only have one, sorry, what? Wife. Yes, yes we Two years. Yes, one training? line. That's correct. And do they have only one wife, or can they respond? Yes, there is no respond mechanic. No... Alright, I think we got the gist of that uh, briefing. Alright, so... What we've got going on here is a little bit different than what was, I was originally led to believe. We're gonna see uh, South North push along the main North-South road. They're gonna move here and dismount foot elements. Clear. Moving north to Lima 11. And then they're gonna se they're either gonna separate or they're gonna they're gonna come up with this on the fly. I'm pretty sure. And then they're gonna start grabbing people, and then I guess they're gonna start keeping moving them back down to the airport. So, uh, meanwhile, Russian marks don't look like they've changed at all. So we're gonna see these guys over here do nothing. So this is gonna be a nice wild card for how Russia gonna be able to respond to this. Meanwhile, these two squads have to move north. So, the hill at Lima 11 is going to be contested 100%, unless Russia intend on moving on the stranded squad immediately. Uh, if they're going to do that, it behooves them to come in more than one direction at once, which is why we are seeing squad 1 set up over here by this overpass. This is going to take a lot of contact. These two guys, they are going to be running on foot down here. I lied, they have a transport. Ready for life. Can we? Did you get home from HO sandbags? <laughs> so looks like we have everyone loaded up. We do have three warrior or three bulldogs and a warrior in play here for British. Uh, so good stuff. They can use the sandbags from the engineer kits, but they don't get any supply. Yeah, most likely. I don't see any sandbags here. Hey, from let the engineers do the sandbag. Better. All right. So any moment now, I should be getting the live signal because I'm pretty sure Russia already has their plan in motion. And other than this blocking force east, I don't see anything that seems to suggest that Russia are going to set up and wait. So we are live with round one of Operation Iron Kilt. Warriors going to move out first, and then Bulldogs behind. Chain of command, my two IC is in key. So chain of command will be two, five. All right, now we're gonna we're gonna speed it along here. We're gonna fly north 
BMP is actually moving west, and the BTR-80 is moving south with a full squad. Uh, only a fire team has moved north of, and they've already dismounted troops. They've ditched the truck entirely. Russia, we won't be able to see what's going on. Uh, they do have lats. The strand squads have lats. Two lats per squad. There's four lats. One here, two over here, one here. The BMP has actually already made it to the overpass. Uh, so we're going to warp speed this real quick. See if I can't uh, get us over there in a faster fashion. We should be here in contact before we see contact. Uh, meanwhile, on the uh, east side, BTR has dropped troops off. Matter of fact, we can now see the whole Russian disposition right here. A squad has moved forward. It's looking like a fire team. The other fire team is over here. Pretty sure these, yeah. So this is a fire team that moved up to the intersection with a truck. Everyone else is on foot. It's clearing the other road. Squad four, this is going to be an excellent test. Excellent test of how this warrior is going to react to contact. They have... A hat, or they have an engineer that's actually put down a mine in the center intersection. Lat has moved off to the east side of the central intersection. Meanwhile, uh, stranded squads report that the um, the BMP has been heard. Mike Seven. This is a BMP too, so it's got a cornet on top of it as well. This is going to be very strong, very big problem to deal with for these stranded squads. Everyone else is setting up here. Russia have a medium machine gun and a lat here as well on top of the BMP. Command is moving up on foot with an extra lat in tow. BTR is maneuvering over there. So one BMP and two squad two in north. Copy. And they've heard BMP plus two squads. They're holding the BMP back. Let's take a look at how the uh, British have spread out in North Petrivka. I dragged them into town to maximize casualties. That's not going to work against armor. They have plenty of rockets. Matter of fact, they have two rockets... Uh, here looks like Mad Trapper and Ewok have taken lat. And they're not ready to do anything. They're just looking for something to shoot at this point. I don't know how Zaki's seeing any of this. Where's Zaki's position? Zaki has Binox. He might have... I doubt it, actually. What can Zaki see from here? He can see... Nothing. Um, unless he sees that sliver, which everything is blocked between him and the overpass. He, he is hearing the BMP climb the hill, though. The BMP doesn't have uh, depression to shoot into the village, though. Two vehicles enter the village. We're going to pull up to one of the off roads just to protect our front flank. We'll dismount infantry there and then get back on the MSR. Copy. That's a lot better. Although, probably still doesn't have the depression to shoot in. Go with command. Maybe with the magnification, might have. BMP Mike 726. It's probably a good sign for the convoy. Although there is still this squad that's down here, and we're gonna go ahead and move. Oh, there he's gonna shoot. Rank rounds from the BMP 2 coming in. Trying to catch anyone out of position. Trying to keep the Brits heads down. Meanwhile, we are going to see dismounted troops down here for the British, but we're going to just keep an eye. I'm 
Morgan actually got hit there. You can see the BMP barely at the top of the overpass. It's actually through a tree right now. Round's still coming in. It's got depression. It's moved to the south side of the destroyed overpass, and now it has no way. And start moving north side. We're gonna come back down here in a second because I wanna see how that plays out, but right now BMP has just got all the play in the world. Russians are slowly moving around. Looks like they're basically holding. Freighter just shoot a, a smoke. Oh yeah, he shot red smoke. <laughs> Lat. Looks like a miss. Mad Trapper is uh, living just barely. BMP just throwing rounds in here. Push up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm moving to secure. I would have something? to push that hill. What, this one right here, like with these? Two? Yeah, I would have to go up there for a shot. Yo, they definitely got infantry fucking maneuvering around us right now. Oh, I wouldn't. Die. Uh, I'm moving back. Swap me. Little bit of chaos right now. There is a maneuvering element that seems ready to push off from the overpass. Otherwise, Russia is holding it together pretty solidly. And we're going to go down south now because this is going to kick off here. Give me a sip, rep. Are they assaulting? Brits now moving to within 300 meters of contact. Plus this hill. No pretty sure Russia is going to be able to see them. Actually, no, because of the hilltops, the the uh, the foliage in the way here. That's crazy. This is what the uh, Russians can see from their position. Not quite what you're hoping for if you're defending against potential vehicle convoy moving through your position. Of course, remember that Russia do have an AT mine placed in the square of this intersection. Vehicle reports must have gone out. Do you have an infantry element moving straight on to uh, Darking? Looks like Darking. Actually, they're going to move between all the warriors just charging straight up. Oh no, if he moves across the center of the intersection, there's a mine waiting for him. Is he gonna see it? Be careful on the crossroad. Command to stop the yeah. mine. Once we have completed the phase. See, where's the mine? We'll oh, I can't see it. That means the uh, two bulk off the squad. Uh, squad two will be heading now. Uh, Maybe that's it right there. Oh, they ran into an MG. Can I bandage myself? Can I bandage? Yeah, hey, for him. Oh, yes, you can. Oh, no. Well, we're going to have a kid kicked out of the community after this operation for sure. Elvito is stuck, though. Copy that. He's not giving up yet. He's actually found a way out, and he's retreating. What's the size of the element? Stand by. 
There has been casualties for British and Russia, I do believe. Yeah, I think you can't trust this number because some people did respawn. Maybe not Russian casualties yet, although I thought I saw one. Looking back up north here, the MP just still sitting on that. Elvito gets flattened by the warrior. Meanwhile, over here in the east, Darkeen and uh, his fire team starting to take some shots. Alkaline is in the best place, the best position to move across the road and get into there. The warrior keeps pushing up, though. Oh, there's a bulldog is actually behind the line. Lat hits the warrior, or the bulldog. And a glancing blow, not a lot of damage. I think that was uh, Toasty. Any damage? Darking is hit. And Darking's down. Russia's starting to take some casualties here. And they've actually pulled back. Little Joe is stuck. As the Brits have moved across the road. Alkaline leading the way. As well as a fire team on the opposite side of the south intersection here. Little Joe's got to pick up the pace because Alkaline's going to come over this hill and just destroy him. Any second now. Smoke's in play. No one's checked this intersection yet. This is two. Enemy squad has retreated. We have pushed them back towards the bog camp itself. Copy that. Two, rotate, disengage, rotate to northwest. Let's do the northwest approach. Since the enemy BMP last, uh, last known location is Mother 726. You're in a northwest approach. So they're going to peel off and go left here. The command, the BMP still stay at the same location. Uh, let's see if we can find this mine real quick. Yep, there it is. Red cap visible, so it's a legal mine. Copy. There's already a bulldog moved into the forest and is giving chase to Lima 11-6, the hill that they want to take. That mine could be very bad news for this warrior if it moves up. I don't think they even see the mine in front of them. Command 5. It's kind of hard to tell, actually. Hill in Lima 11-6 is going to be a no-go. Uh, fog is way too thick. Do you want us to operate the Bradley further to the west, or do you want him to stay on the MSR moving north? Or the warrior, sorry. Less... Okay, whole platoon, so we include squad 2 and squad 5. Let's do uh, the whole platoon doing the western approach. Copy that. I'm anticipating a boom here. If not this warrior, then the one of these bulldogs. You, we got a mine on the middle of the... the oh, Legar sees it. See the white I'll line? Go south of your position. Yeah. And head up to the it's, it's right there. Right in front of us. You're right in front of us. Why can't I see that? Uh, I don't know. Like are not in chat, so he's not streaming tonight, Ben. It's a legit spot! He found it! Doing a western approach, western approach. He hasn't told- no one on command comms talked about this mine yet. Legar in the turret has the visibility to see it, and he spotted it. What a, what a shot. Uh, meanwhile, we did hear the development that, uh... 
Sus? No, not sus. Uh, Leave 11 6 is a no go. Seeing these guys fall back. I, would like you to send the fire team to the I think Free Stalker's coming over here to dig this thing. Any other mines? Oh, there's two of them. There's nothing there for me. I, I, was, I was watching just, just, in case, and I saw the fucking mine. Yeah, uh, I, I just, really can't see that. The texture is pretty flat. Is it now? Oh, not anymore. Nah. The texture is actually really flat on this concrete road, so. One fire minute, that's where it's watch where you have their fighting map. And the BMP starting to make some shots up here again. We're gonna go up north real quick, just check and see everything. Looks like the designated took some hits. Copy that. Leave your lat at the east side since that's what it Meanwhile, BMP's just chilling. Is if it makes more pot shots like this, it's gonna be running out of ammo. You want me to replace uh, his with my lat? His fire team moving to the west side. I think the ultimate sign of conservation would be if it switches to its coaxial machine gun. Koba probably will still wants to maximize potential kills here and stick with the uh, explosive rounds, though. So a bit of a reorganization. How bored are you? Do you want us to cut straight north here and not go to the intersection at Kilo 1045? Oh, would you look at that? Brits moving forward, we're going back down south to check that out. Because that's going to be a doozy. There's uh, two squads really spread out here, and I do believe, yeah, the BTR is still holding the uh, East Highway, but Squad 2 elements, looks like Squad 2 sent a fire team in, John Deere has a hat, he's moving along the, uh, the swamp to see if he can't find a vehicle to snipe, I bet you he's looking for their warrior. Good call out. That's good enough anyway. Leave my 11 7. These guys fell back, I think, but. Lots of suppression used by Brits trying to move in here. Although, Brits have a real problem with this fire team moving down the road. They have no armor support, and they're running into a fire team on their east. They might actually see them. Yeah, Toasty's looking this way. Little Joe, these are the guys that were on the hill. Oh, yeah, there goes Free Stalker. Here comes squad three, looking to make some more kills here. DJ Rust caught in the open. Woo! Eats a lat. Did 
just alpha and bot here. I'm looking north. These are better positions. Not quite good enough. No, 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 no. Across, I don't know, the street in the woods. Alpha immediately runs away. Bot decides to hide in the 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 shrubbery here. Squad three and squad four, please give me a cigarette. We do have movement in the north. The infantry detachment has pulled off of the BMP, and they're getting ready to make a uh, east to west approach. Should we set up to Lima then? Matter of fact, Russian command has pulled his guys into the uh, fight as well. I would say set up at the uh, tree line Lima 9 and try to push through straight to square. Russia get to move pretty much uncontested here. There's no way these guys in the village can see this movement here. And the last communication that I heard was the Brits thought they were moving to the north. Of course, if that was happening, they'd have seen that coming from at least three or 400 meters away. Uh, well, two to 300 meters, given the fog in the layer, but still, they would have seen that maneuver coming. They're not going to see it until Toxic gets over this hill here. BMP start moving south. Copy. BMP coming off the hill. That's a big sign. Hey, two. Yes, I have two guys who can actually operate that bulldog. If you want to stay on, on foot with your guys, I can put two guys in that bulldog. British have to break through. Russia are starting to close the door on this rescue. Two, I currently have the warrior southwest of you, basically doing its best to protect your western flank as we move north. Copy that. We will still have contacts to our north at Lima Dead. BMP2 is going to be a nice target for any lats that are in the village here. Copy and track at me down. Silent and Big Poppy moving down here to the south, though. They're getting closer. BMP now starting to shoot into the village with the coax. Command, we could pick up a lot of this infantry and maybe push people north. It looks like we have a lot of enemy infantry contact to our east right now. We might if they go along this road, there is a mine problem for British for the British forces here. Here we go. They're coming in. Last shot at the BMP. There's a miss. Zaki's caught out in the open. That's bad news. He's dead. Last shot does track. Second, uh, third last shot at the uh, BMP does track it. Line firing kills Ewok. Frederick is actually point blank. Did, did, uh, could Eggbox just get a knife? The PMP can only rotate. <laughs> oh, here comes smoke mortars. The smoke artillery from Russia is coming in. That's going to be really good. Russia is just going to commit. They're pulling more troops out. Looks like they might be regrouping uh, Squad 4 here to make a northern attack. Everyone else is still holding position. They still even have the, uh, the BTR-80 in reserve. Potentially another shot on the uh, BMP here, but didn't do anything. Here comes the Russians. They're moving straight in. Look at this. Silent leading the way. Shoots designated through the window. 
two more in this compound and one runs away. Major Reno is all here by himself. Russians are surrounding, moving around. Big Poppy goes down. Reno is throwing rounds through a window. A chick gets guitars. Reno gets killed by Killer J through the window. Oh wait, check, there was a team kill. Silent gets taken out by Cinco. Being proved crew allowed to repair? Nope. They don't have repair kits. The BMP is right, stuck. So I do believe they ditched the BMP. And it looks like they may have traded with uh, <laughs> Bear Ars here. BMP is no longer crewed. No vehicle stealing. And that's the signal. Sound of bagpipes. Oh no, there's a mine. And are they going to check this? If they move straight across this road, that's the warrior in front. They're going off road though. Sheer stroke of luck. They're going to bypass this mine. There's a hat over here. Charlie Foxtrot is going to have a nice pick of the litter here. He's got to make a shot though. Shot goes out. Miss lagged behind the warrior. Beam crew, BMP crew has already left the vehicle. Charlie Fox, what's he going to do? Does he have another round? Potentially no. Warrior's going to hold this angle as all the Bulldogs push past. Oh, and Londars doesn't have ammo, so Charlie Fox has no way to rearm his rocket. But he still looks like he has a tandem round on his RPG. Infantry deployed, so they're going to push west to east here. Brit or Russia is still making progress clearing all this, though. They're clearing building to building, now working north towards Redibus and the rest of Squad 4. Meanwhile, Nashville down here only has a fire team in left in support. Backpipes means that Russia get to move forward. Air, the BTR has also moved to pick up some troops here. Looks like he's actually moved the rest of Squad 2 over. Charlie Fox is still over here. The vehicle moving. is trying to find these guys in the field. The Russians are in the middle of the village. We're going to go back to that. Charlie Fox still looking for a uh, place to shoot from. Knows the moment he steps up, he has basically two seconds to find a target and shoot it. So that's the plan now, as infantry is going to screen. And there we go, now the warrior is starting to probe the line. Utopian is actually over here. Here it comes! That's a side-on hit! And... The warrior... Taking some engine damage, looks like. Just shooting right over top of Charlie Foxtrot. I don't think. Nope. There we go. There's Charlie Foxtrot dead. I don't think he had any any other shots left in him. That's a good hit, but it was side armor hit, and it did not destroy. Oh. Russia actually made it all the way up to the radio. What does that mean? They've killed the radio. And just now decided to call it in. Toxic, Xbox, check, and Killer J. Command 5, 
update on Warrior. Warrior took you your hat. He's at 35% whole strength, fully operational. Copy. You said you had 35%. Audio on BTR to the northeast. Copy. With Russia, they still have the BMP, but they need to get people in it. Yeah, squad force pulls They need. They have no one there. They need to find. They don't have crewmen for it. I don't think. So the BMP is not a factor. Russia are gonna just have to brute force everyone here. But it looks like the warriors are starting to move closer. Warriors damaged, and these bulldogs won't fare well. Or sorry, the bulldogs are gonna push in here. They're pushing straight in. Shots coming in. We have reached the town. Can we start loading up? And somebody put red chalk on that uh, Russian element here. Yeah, Fletch. Uh, players that have registered on the website are able to get into the spectator cam. If they don't have that done, then uh, yeah. And I'm pretty sure this is restricted, so. Uh. Can I shoot? Let's try to spread yep. the infantry out of the vehicle as best we can. And here comes the Bulldogs. Egg box is down for these Russians. Multiple Russians now down. Killer J's now down. Lots of Russians even behind. Brits might be able to get most of these guys out of here. But they still have, Russia still has plenty of lats to stop this and they have the BTR 80s sitting on the road. West and south is the call. And contact behind. Brits have contacted some Russians trying to sneak up behind. Looks like Nightmare has found Eagle Zeppelin. And I don't even know how to say that name. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Bot gets destroyed out of the turret. Of the bulldog, last shot in the back looks like a hit. Doesn't do a lot of damage though. Hey, we got hit. Did it, did it, did it. I'm up. I'm in the gun. Brett's engaging these guys point blank now as they're moving west to Xville. Rounds landing pretty close to these guys, and there's still the foot element here. Eagle Zeppelin and crew. Still facing Nightmare head on. It's just holding position. Probably waiting to get picked up. Oh no, the mine! Two, let's get you moving out on foot if you want to move you guys south. Might have to cross this field. Bulldogs are The warrior's gone! Oh! The mine! Warrior ran over it, plus the hat shot from before. It's Dunzo. Two, let's get you guys moving. They're still engaging contacts west. Bulldog can provide the cover. I can lay smoke as well. Here's a big problem. The Bulldog is definitely vulnerable to this BTR-80. Five, uh, Phoenix, can you pick us up? Come more south. And let's hop in. And run Brit's away. actually falling apart here. They're losing people in the north as they fell back to the, uh, the Bulldog. Dentrix still has a lad here. The Bulldog is just busting off-road. Okay, so the Bulldog drove forward to provide smoke. These guys are off on foot. Why aren't they getting picked up yet? Pick them up! Does Dentrix get a shot on this? They're driving towards contact. They don't know it yet. Oh, 
Here we go. They just run straight into it. The Russians make their presence known. They have to pick him up here. The granite is momentarily for this world. Right, load up. Yep. Oh, we gotta go south. Bulldog is crossing the line where Br Russians are actually starting to defend here, and there's a problem. Bulldogs have hit one of the position points. Li rocket goes out. Looks like a short rocket, but these guys have taken big hits. Ender Udman uh, is still uh, rolling in the Bulldog here and has actually got enough. Oh, it's tracked. The Bulldog is tracked, so these guys got to run it out from here on out, and they're going to get shot up from the back, too. All right, Matt Trapper, how long are you going to live running in the open here? Actually, a bit further along. Oh, no. And in the east, the Bulldog runs straight for the BTR. It's getting hit up pretty bad. John Deere's right there. I'm pretty sure he's a hat. Bulldog's still okay. He's got a rear on shot. Bam. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine people dead in a bulldog. Brits have gone from having the numbers necessary to survive a defense to not having anything. Brits down to less than a squad. Everyone in the north is in one bulldog. They have to ditch the bulldog here because it's tracked. These guys are on foot. It is down to one bulldog being run by granite. A square on shot, it doesn't get any prettier than that if you're a hat. Who has who has comms? I don't think they hit. They don't have comms. So we're gonna wrap the, uh, east point. They're not supposed to have comms. All the FTLs are dead. It's just Phoenix and uh, head through and Inky. Inky technically running. You take contact like that, the first inst instinct has got to be getting out of the vehicle. You can't stay in the vehicle like that. And here comes Russia. It's just running these guys down. They're far enough away, they have to push for the extract point. Oh, man. And this is definitely a detour, although look at this mine. Oh, if they come south and they go through this village, that's bad news. These guys are taking their time. They're regrouping. They need to... They need to... They need to haul it. Should have had a perimeter around the Bulldog. I think the whole point was they wanted to exfil with speed. So they weren't really... I don't think they were anticipating Russia really holding back any forces from the assault. They started getting they started getting hit from multiple directions. I think there's also a little bit to be said about the missed call of two squads north earlier on could have had a play on how much force they were anticipating from behind. And then on top of that, they didn't anticipate that BTR in play at all. Squad 4 now moving back west here. Uh, British forces still rolling. Are you be doing it again? That cross now. There's no Russian forces actually moved down to the uh, LZ yet. So, Russia is still trying to stop what they know is surely another bulldog. And they're going to have a chance... It's running straight down the road here. There is a mine. I don't know where this mine is placed. I think it's in this intersection. It's in this intersection. It's on this road. There it is. 
So it's not going to be in the path of travel for the Bulldog. As a matter of fact, the Bulldog is going to bypass this part of town and completely and go around south side of the hamlet. Yep, and Mad Honcho is just going based on... Purely based on sound right now. Matter of fact, the Bulldog is even going to go completely off-road there and switch roads. So it's going to take this long way down. This is a more direct route, actually. This is actually a good choice of route because it lets them... They could possibly get to the same place where these guys are going to be holding up. And of course, if they get to these trenches, it's going to be a little bit of work, but... <laughs> There's the BTR taking a giving a wide berth to this mine. The BTR is probably just gonna roll straight south here and start shooting. Airfield, you want these guys? They have one lat. Should we just take the trenches? You're gonna have to chase take the trenches, man. Western side? On the north? Yeah, on on the western side. Trenches west, so these trenches. So it's probably this compound area here is uh, what we're going to see. How to join Gunthrum? Um, join pre op now if you have basic. You might be able to join in for round two. This is still round one. Been going for just about an hour now. One night will do nothing to the BTR. They have the Bulldog still. And this is a BTR-80. So the Bulldog with lat support might have a chance to get enough damage in. But of course, this Bulldog has been hit. And on top of that, they have to get a pretty good lat hit for it to overcome the damage threshold that's happening here. Russians are rolling straight in. Uh, Bartok, as an engineer with Honda Hun and Aidan, is rolling straight into this trench system, trying to get here before the British do. You should be good for round two. Definitely join pre-op if you have basic and you want to participate. I'll watch our west, northwest. Yep, here we go. Bartok's running straight in on these guys. They don't have eyes on this. They are, they are camping the, uh, the native emplacement here. Contact. Bartok just shot at Udeman as he's out of the trench. Bartok trade. Fuck. Adam. What a shot by Scottish Karma. What a position, actually. Adyan also hit. Grenade in. Could be good. Kills both of them, actually. What a throw. Honda Honda Adyan going down to that grenade from Scottish Karma. And Brits get to breathe a little bit longer. They have a problem, though. We can, we can oh, no. Nope. They're going to go off-road. Back all the way to the buildings. Here comes more. Field, right? Shift P is how you get into admin cam. There we go. There's the direction. Brits need to get into LZ Sterling. So everyone is coming for Russia. Three squads versus about one now for one and a half for uh, British. Most of these guys aren't even here yet. That grenade could have not worked if it hit the uh, boxes right here, but it definitely rolled past. And it landed right here, and the thanks to the terrain, wasn't able to save anyone. You can see the explosion mark here. Got both of them. Would definitely get anyone inside that... Uh, inside that little divot right there. Bulldog able to bypass Mad Honcho. Mad Honcho knows exactly where this Bulldog is though. I bet you Russian comms are so giddy right now. They still have leadership. Their command is still up. They still have FTLs and squads one and three. The original SLs are still up in two and four. Meanwhile, uh, with British, they only have a squad lead and their command is... Or no, they don't even have the command. They have two squad leads. The two original squad leads still up. And technically, four is not even supposed to have command comms. Grossick. 
Uh, the bulldog is going to go hunting. This time, command wants us holding the western, basically hold the trenches. Command, or so, right, so bulldog is going to go hunting for lats. Everyone else is holding the trenches. Russia closing in as 20 players running from the north right now. This is going to get ugly for Brits. Not sure yet. Got a little bit of coasting going on here. Toasty is lat. Does he have a racket on him? This would be a great time to make the shot because Granite would instantly be dead. Does Toasty have a lat? Toasty does not have lat. He's going to try to... He's going to try to... Yep, there we go. One shot, one kill, the gunner's gone in the bulldog. And a lat for good measure. Looks like splash damage. That was a hit and it tracked the bulldog. Phoenix is gone. Third hit. Phoenix has to dismount. They're trying to take it out. Look, I think that was a short. It may not have been short, but there's nothing Phoenix can do. He's got to run away. <laughs> Wait, he didn't put that into the ground himself, did he? He doesn't have a grenade launcher on this, does he? Uh, does he have a grenade launcher on it? No. So that was a Russian GL marked his position with smoke. Here comes mortar. Oh, this is uh, smoke. Wow. There's smoke in the north side of uh -huh. Russians are going to get into the trenches. Russians are in the trenches now. Why am I not getting those explosions? And here we go. We got south now. Nightmare is gonna catch Scottish Kama, maybe. Kama pre-fires, not enough. Nightmare gets hit though, and Tutti Root as well. Nate it, Nate it, Nate it is the call. Decaf, does he have one? Yes, he does. And Nightmare and Dentric go down. Tutti Root actually got out of there because he was bandaging. <laughs> Grenade throw back. Too far. Nope, one actually hits de decaf. One goes too far. Watch northwest, watch northwest. They're right in this trench. Just Russians are all around. They have a BTR and they have a squad coming up. They have a fire team coming up from the south. This is bad news for Ritz. Let's see how long, much longer they can last. Let's escape the junction. I'm gonna go to this. I'm gonna take it right, right here. If you yeah, pack yourself there. up, then I'll heal you when you get set up. I would say if I was the BTR driver, I would just roll over these guys. But uh, it's not happening. We got a medic healing right now. Heights is taking a peek here. This. What kind of name is this? I'm gonna need it. Tutti root. Got one dead. Trade for a grenade throw. Ooh, miss that. Actually, good throw. Heights goes down as well. Hey guys, increase your spacing so you don't each catch a nade. Nade. Nate goes down. Phoenix eats a little bit of it. Uh, <laughs> the space jam. Oh no, it's not significant here. Infantry, uh, BTR driver doesn't know that they don't have lats. They have lats. I don't know if anyone has rounds. They have lats, so it, it's fair enough that the BTR is holding. Meanwhile, we do have contact east as the BTR. Yep, BTR is starting to move in north side of the airfield now. Anybody have lats? Here comes Smoke East. Is a squad coming east now? Russia doing a decent job here. Deep Cap goes down. No, he's not down. He's almost dead though. Six one. Go help out the LAP. Javi and Ear people taking their time here. Waiting for this uh, smoke on the east here because east is going to happen and it looks like. Poncho has moved all the way behind south. They're going to move up the trees and take advantage of the smoke to continue moving north here. Hey, we need you alive for the BDR. British holding trenches. Yeah. 
I guess. More contact north here. Yeah. Avi and uh, your people are starting to make moves. Have someone look west, have another person look north. If I move east, I'll, I'll get your spot. Decaf, smart enough to use that. <laughs> Alpha Guido in the bush. Probably has the most, uh, the craziest position of them all. Smoke's coming east. BTR waiting for a chance to peek here. Here comes the smoke's east. It actually makes pretty good uh, intrusion in the field there. Oh yeah, these guys, they have no... Uh, <laughs> everyone is booking it now. Oh, we got a mortar strike actually. They moved off the position though, so that mortar strike's not going to hit anything. Six one and forward are actually going to be probably patting themselves on the back after they realize the mortar hit their old position. Lib is now also running in tow. The only way to hook back up to the uh, western trenches. Your people and Javi starting to make. Yep, your people and Javi starting to make a move here. Meanwhile, I think the distance and elevation is becoming a problem. Fuck, taking shots from the northeast as well. Oh, uh, the Russians are just falling up the field here. This, here's another squad. Javi looks like he probably went down here. Your people... Actually pushed in. Mad Trapper eats a grenade here. Or four Is that a nade? Yep. Yeah, he's dead. Get dead. to my position, Udeman. Medic. Yeah, yeah, I'm not moving to you. Oh, that's almost a good throw for smoke. Oh, here comes the BTR. Get down. Someone hold the right side. Oh, the BTR is just right there. Oh, he put himself. <laughs> All right, this is a dirty position. Basically, it's a vehicle trench. 6-1 gets nailed in the back of the head. Down to two, four, six. Down to six Brits. Plus. Your people still has this position here. Alpha's gonna run up on him. And your people not fast enough on the draw. And there's the second mortar salvo. Looks like a miss. So the Brits have... Wait, Alpha died? He's dead, decaf. He's down. Wait, how did he die? The radio decaf, you hold yeah. our rear. He must have got shot up while he was moving. Our last of AD that just died there on the south. Yep. That's all just us three for the last three dudes. Brits on no more AT. Everyone else seems to crumble here. Six one's dead behind. So this is those three guys that are left. They were slightly less fucked than us. Inky decaf and Ze Eagle Zeppelin. No revives. That's correct. One life event. This is round one though. So uh, I don't know how Alva died. He must have got spotted by someone. Ten right here. The ground is not even here. Even though you think it's even, it's not. In the trench. So, especially once you get up towards here, okay. He might have been. Uh, he might have been somewhere else. All right. So here we go. <laughs> BTR. There's no mines. Fritz have no more AT. I think it's starting to dawn on the Russians to start using the BTR to help clear. Although, they know they've lost a lot of people on the left, and matter of fact, they're not even going to chance it. They're going to throw one more smoke barrage directly on these guys. What a round. This is great. And very shortly, Fisco running up... Oh, Inky's still up, too. Inky's up here. Fisco running this direction, Inky, all he can do is prone. 
And Fisco, if he stays out of the trench, he'll have the best chance to take him on. Say we've lost so hope for a uh, evac. Yeah. Waiting for this smoke to drop, though. Fisco might have spotted a foot here. Inky not paying attention to the left side of his screen. Spotted Fisco. Fisco probably looking for more. Could have spotted decaf. BTR moving closer. Fisco wants to throw a grenade. He might have spotted decaf's legs. That's a great nade. It hits them both and not f close enough. That was a good nade. Holy. I'm out of bandages. I'll get you. You just watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, how many bandages does Zeppelin have? Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Smoke. Oh, no. Smoke, smoke, smoke. Here comes BTR. The last two fuckers, man. Oh, hi, guys. BTR. Got one behind us. They're on us. Yeah, it's a grenade that kills decaf. And that's it. Russia, decisive victory after British screwed up their exfil. <laughs> Pretty strong, 37 kills Russia, 22 kills for Brits. Very, very strong performance. Squad 2 had only one person die the entire round. That's ridiculous. All right. Didn't play the first round, and I definitely didn't read the op doc. All right, here we go. We're live with round two. Up north now. Let's go. Cool. Let's go. North, north, north. Stay up. Who's first? Don't hit a tree. We're waiting for super, and then we'll step off. All right. Then go down. Let's move. Squad two. All right. Now these guys are rolling from Maine. We're gonna take a look up here in the north. So let's get an idea of the BMP and the BTR. Looks like the BTR is going to cover the BMP moving up a little bit. Probably cover some of this infantry. Brits can't move outside the red boxes, so this could be kind of weird for them. And I'm moving kind of slow. Hold on. I should be moving faster now. Okay. So. So it looks like... Russia started a squad south, a squad east, and everyone else started north. Lots of arrows here. Looks like these guys are even coming up the road as well. So I would have to guess, we'll, we'll know it's when we get, once we get closer where all the infantry is. Let's see, east, or sorry, the south guys, they're going to mine the south road. And then these guys are just rolling straight north. Okay. How about north? BMP's rolling towards the overpass. That's pretty... Uh, pretty expected. Uh, that's nothing. That's, that's, that's a map glitch. Very cool. BTR has... Oh, we're, we're a bit uh, above everything here. There's BTR. BTR has got a squad size element in it. And might be getting dismounts here shortly. Here we go. Meanwhile, we've got another squad uh, to its southeast. We're lining up pretty direct here, actually. I think these tactics are sort of going to play into each other. There's really the direct play of Russia's just going to attack, as well as the direct play of Brits aren't going to try to reposition this element. This should be interesting to see how this goes. The element at uh, Papa 6 is already basically at the overpass. So these guys are running just straight up the uh, the main road here.
Of course, we'd be following British, so we don't have Russian comms. Matter of fact, I don't have any comms right now. Command to stranded squads. We are five mics out. Sit tight. We'll be there shortly. The rocks. It's just it's just inside the zone. And we got British uh, troopers just chilling around, hiding. Oh, tracking one times. One times copy. One times MG north northeast. Uh, looks like they have eyes on the Russians across the road here. Big box and toxic. And you're just standing up, Toxic? Everyone is just standing up? M5. Are they going to shoot? Are they going to... Toxic doesn't even know what he's looking at. Does Xbox... Do these guys know what they're doing? Start shooting. They're waiting for... Yes. Do the Russians not see these guys? Cross the road. Eggbox hit. This is, I'm going to scratch my head to that. What in the world? Eggbox in serious trouble here. Oh, he's dead. There's your first British loss there. BTR now getting a position here. Brit's still a... <laughs> Five minutes out is probably pretty generous. Here comes the BMP adding fire. Who? I wonder if BMP is still using AP rounds. I think if he was not using AP rounds, Big Poppy would be dead right now. Chewie is running away. Yeah, so this is just an all-out assault on the, the paratrooper position, or the, the fallback position. This is not anything else. This was 100% a rush for Russia. BMP has its perch on the overpass, as expected. Yeah, yeah. Big Poppy looks like he took a bit of exploded uh, around there. This is very... It's going to be very strong. This is very bad for British. So it all comes down to, at this point, the British me mechanized helmet is going to have to... It's going to have to jump. Oh. Smoke's coming in. Ready, ready. Copy. I don't think... The Brits know how completely surrounded they are. No one has called these guys to the south, and they're just rolling through the field. Are they rolling through the forest? Hey, keep your focus south, guys. This guy's not looking south. Trust him. Okay, focus south. Smoke coming in is starting to get more, more uh, concentrated down south. It's actually. Yeah, this is just one smoke mission. And here we go, contact south. Alkaline just walks up to Aitken and just destroys him. No call on command net for south. Basket of puppies is dead because he forgot to check where the gunshots came from. Alkaline gets a third before he gets a bullet in his leg. Big derp from these Brits down here. Might have another mortar salvo coming in. No, that's not another mortar salvo. Brits just now getting to the intersection. Papa 7-8. BMP is now off the top of the hill, so it's going to be much more difficult for these guys to uh, get a position here. John Deere takes a bullet here from Inky. Has to hide in. Inky's going to run back here. John Deere going to bandage. More contact in the north is actually ridiculous. A whole squad is actually inserted into the village now. So we are now building to building fighting. The Brits don't know it yet. The Brits are still trying to maneuver here. There goes Chewie. Gets tagged. 
Uh, guitars is actually, uh, or Gators. I said guitars earlier. Gators getting a hit. Frag could be good. Uh, a little short. Actually hits Frederick a little bit. Here comes the BTR as well. A BTR helping le lead this infantry charge. Vehicles now in here. Bulldogs are going to come all around to try to hit the infantry from behind. Warrior is going to try to hop in here and find this uh, BMP, I would imagine. Warrior leading with a bulldog behind. John Deere is still stuck in the south. Is now surrounded by Russians. BMP still has Overwatch on all buildings in Petrovka, by the way. Looks like John Deere is just trying to camouflage. He's not really moving. He's looking for someone to go past him. He's not really paying attention to his left. Inky running behind him. Hearing some shots. Russians are just getting into the. <laughs> They're getting in here. Oh, he might spot Inky uh, contrasting against this wall. Is he going to shoot? He's just going to sit here and wait for more element to come in. There's actually another fire team behind him. I don't know what John Deere's thinking, but he's thinking I'm lone survivoring this. Probably. Coming back. Brits are falling back from the east by the village. BTR has rolled in. Everything is everyone is here except for the mechanized element. The warriors also peeled off north. That's disaster. Oh no. The warriors gonna take so long to get through those trees. The Brits have been pushed back. Lats coming in. Might have been a good hit on the BTR there. Silas driving for War Daddy gunning. BMP has taken a hit as well, but uh doesn't seem to be really having a problem. Enemy gunfire, approximately K838. So it looks like John Deere took out the squad, uh, the squad lead that was down here. Liberal is actually sneaking up on him. Does Liberal see him? Liberal is actually glitching himself. Not glitching himself, but he's. All right, Lib, look left. Look left, bud. Does John Deere see him now? Yeah, John Deere sees him in the last second. Oh, no, Lib. Oh, buddy. Mortars, probably. Nope, more smokes as Russia move off the eastern buildings. They're going to move more west. BMP has now moved in. BT the warrior has found... Oh no! One of the one of the um, bulldogs probably has eyes on this uh, BMP and is just moving along. Warrior, uh, the bulldog can't do anything from that. <laughs> Got anxiety for John Deere. <laughs> yeah. You can see the uh, BTR adding fire. Lats coming in now because they're coming in from all directions. The BMP is just rolling into the. F this is ridiculous. Big Russia move here on the east. At least the Ewok and Nashville and Reno ran it across, but. This actually really does. Wait, Utopian is sitting next to a warrior. Utopian sitting next to a warrior. Does the BMP know what's up? Yes, he does. The BMP is hit. Now taking damage. Toe goes out. Warrior gets hit. Warrior returning fire on the BMP. Bam! That's three people dead. The BMP's gone. Warrior tried to... The BMP looks like he tried to cornet the uh, warrior in the front armor, and that was not a good idea. Meanwhile, Utopian, I think, killed himself a uh, infantryman right in front of him. Never mind. My guy. Go hunt that beach, sir. 
So now it's just Russia BTR, who's in the middle of the village. BTR's front top of me. Uh, BTR. Enemy infantry is down east, smoking. Oh, that's a warrior actually shooting over. Lat goes in. Russia actually making some big gains in the south here. They've moved further west. Dudson has ear people on the opposite wall. Is he going to jump over? Curry's going to jump in. What a shot on Charlie Fox. Charlie Fox was just sitting there. Curry makes the jump and gets in there. The western side of everything is being destroyed. Here people gets Carpenter. Javi's waiting in a great position. Wait, Tutsin actually killed Hanu. What? Javi put some rounds towards... Shit. What are our bulldogs doing? We have five times infantry strong, totally we're still green and ammo, we have multiple contacts on the southern wall of the compound and the buildings at Lima Niner 81, we're barely holding. Russia have any more armor? They have a, a BTR 80. Got me and the guy coming on you. That's all they have left for armor. They need to keep this tempo up. They're really doing a good job. B British are down to about two squad, no, probably about squad and a half left in the village. Ordele somehow dodged Russia pushing through the south side, but he's in not a very good position. The video is really jerky. Bit fine. Might be a bitrate issue. Londarts gets kicked out here. Russia pushes us through. Contact right behind us uh, to the south is though, so. Something's getting shot up here. Looks like the warrior found something to shoot. There goes the BMP, or the BTR. I missed that. BTR pops. Reno and Nashville go down. Silas actually got out of it. War Daddy got out of it as well. I believe the BTR is down. So many dead people. Here comes... Kind of hard. What's the wind condition? Right now the wind condition is... Uh, British can either exfil the infantry from here to the airfield, or they can kill all the Russians. Uh, with no more armor, it's more likely that uh, British will simply make a uh, kill on the Russians. He thinks he shot the Lodgy? Honda Hunt just got a BTR kill, he thinks he shot the Lodgy? Russia numbers actually just dropped off dramatically here. Russia still have... I want to say they still have people hanging out, but I don't think so. Russian command is still... No, that's not my, Russian command anymore. Brits just came to town. Russia had a... Killer J... Kills War Daddy, War Daddy just runs in front of him. You got the guy? Yeah. Is he dead? <laughs> dead. It was an, uh, yeah, it was a uh, Everyone on the driver. radio building is dead. Motherfucker scared me. There's a team kill. Barton just team killed Blue. Very cool. Dentrick must have uh, killed these guys over here. No, maybe he just, they just passed him. I guess this is all the Russians on the map. So we're literally looking at... Yeah, so 27 kills for Brits means there's about 10 Russians left around here. 
pretty strong turnaround considering Russia had all the momentum and then they lost the BMP and then the BTR got sniped by a bulldog which is ridiculous and here they go they're just gonna roll into town why wouldn't you there's no mines anywhere Russia put no mines on the south road maybe there's one down here but I guess it's gone so the Russians are just having to hide? Uh, all remaining squads on command. Uh, let's go and get these. Yeah, let's get these Vicks. They're gonna expel Phoenix, actually. Wait, no, that's the call. Is Brits are gonna hold? Let's secure the area. Let's, uh, let's Alamo on the radio. There's an enemy by the yellow house. Killer J. Put some bullets at Phoenix. Yes. Honcho's actually in a bad position. Oh, Phoenix tried to jump the wall. Oh, no. <laughs> and then Honcho gets shot up from his side. Lagar and Freestalker. There is Freestalker, actually. Lagar eats a warrior around. He's still alive. There we go. Rough. Matt, I swear, if you stick your head out, I'm gonna accidentally kill you. <laughs> and the warrior is just clearing the side just for good measure there. Oh, that's the bulldog. Uh, so I think we're down to six Russians, or, yeah, we're down to six Russians, and they're just holding the east side of the area. Very cool. Oh, look at that. Everyone gets the resupply now that the Bulldogs are here. So all the Brits are rearming. Uh, I think it's actually British's job to clear. Oh, must defend, so it's actually Russia's job to attack here. I'm team cute. Toxic. It's fine, you gotta check your map, Jesus. dude. You gotta check your map like every five seconds, that's what I do. Like every five seconds I'm checking my map. Oh, here we go. Russia must push to take the radio, so that's the call. Let's focus the radio, guys. And we got some Russian movement in the north here. Space Jam and Toaster. So we're basically just gonna stay close with them, generally. One of them, Alant. Uh, one was an MG. There's actually no lats left on. There's no lats left on Russia. So Brits are gonna fall back and protect the radio. Plenty of opportunity. Matter of fact, Silas kills Killer J. <laughs> Silas makes it into the back port, the backyard here. Silas gonna run at him. Silent turns on him, eats a bullet, and takes down Silas. Really? That's good stuff. Scottish has actually pushed past Ewok, but he's getting shot and killed from his uh, his north. Bow is actually getting shot out of the turret. Or he's been shot or something. So, uh, that's command down for British. Wonder how long it'll take for everyone to realize, and Super has no gunner. If he gets in here, he's probably gonna get domed. These Russians are way close. I bet you he's thinking about it. RPG goes in, Redibus is dead. This is if we got Bear Arse. God damn! It's just shooting point blank hey, that's oh dentric is actually right here does dentric hear you are crawling yeah Yo, you have a nade he's right behind this wall koba has to bandage supra probably got into the turret and got shot out oh i'm dead <laughs> there are finally looks down the road and kills dentric shots being returned from silent. This is One Life Save Republic? No, this is a closed event. 
Uh, but you can join them on our Discord, squadops.gg is our site. You can sign up for more events like this. They're shooting lats at infantry now, so Brits are just like wanting this over. Baronars is going to run away and try to regroup with the rest of his Russian friends. There's only three of them left. <laughs> right? Let me take a look at the map. Yeah, it's just these three Russians against about a squad and a half of uh, Brits. And everyone is so bored, they're shooting a distance here. For events that are closed, or events that are restricted... For events that are restricted, you definitely need basic, but we do run open events that don't require basic from time to time. But our calendar has all of our events on it. So, cal squadops.gg slash calendar has all of our events uh, listed, and they'll either be open or basic required for squad. Uh, so right now, Brits are just chilling. Russia have to attack this radio. This is the secondary objective to uh, consider the area cleared. They have to go and attack the radio. And Russia are on the complete opposite side of the point from where the radio is. They are resorting to smoking to advance, and that's going to give their position away. There's four Russians left, my bad. No, there's three. Toaster, Space Jam, and Bear Ass. It looks like they're going to just circle around east. They're going to use some buildings for concealment. I swear there's... There's an AR. Is that Joe Violence? I can't tell if that was Joe Violence shooting or not. They also have Athen back here. He's another AR. The warrior is still exists. Although I think the drivers are all gone for the warrior. I don't see any crewmen. So there's no crewmen left. Uh, so the warrior can't be gunned. Uh, Joe actually took some shots at Barass here. I'm going to go over to Joe's perspective. Oh, look at that. Space Jam looking for a cheeky uh, shot through the fence there. Can't find it. Joe's going to flank around. Realizing he's got nothing but a fence here. He's going to go into the building. Bartok is actually running straight at this guy. Bartok running at Toaster with Adian. Bartok finds him. That's a kill for Bartok. Space Jam and... Um, the other remaining Russian bear ass is still... It's just... They're just holding this corner. So I think it'll be a matter of time before the Russians get flanked from the, the uh, north. Shots through the fence will also do it. Space Jam takes one from Joe Violence. Communications definitely got to be hopping now. Here comes Silent. Silence running straight at these guys. Oh, yeah. Pink, 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 pink. And Silent gets two down, and that's going to be GG, I do believe. GG is called. 